this way. Okay, happy Sunday everyone. Good day to you. And uh, before we start our day, of course, manalangin tayo. Let's close our eyes. I'll give you a few seconds to uh, diminish this time with you with, with, with God. Ano yung gusto mong pag-pray sa Kanya? Yung gusto mong hilingin? Ano yung gusto mong ipagpasalamat? Lord, thank you so much for everything that you are doing in our life. Yesterday, today, and forever. Lord, maraming salamat. We know that whatever is happening in our life, it's the best thing that could happen in our life according to your will. Thank you, Lord God, for, for each morning that you have wake, you have uh, awoken us up today. You have awakened us as today. And of course, um, salamat Panginoon, we have safe transportation going here, safe travel. I pray, Lord God, for those people who were not able to come, you bless them as well, wherever they are right now. And as we uh, go and discuss the topic, Lord God, that you have prepared for us today, we pray that the Holy Spirit be with us, may the Holy Spirit change our hearts in terms of what to be success in our life. What success to be, what's, what's the meaning of success in our life, and what do you want us to do in our life. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. All the glory and honor and praise in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Get what's yours, part two. Get what's yours part 2. That's their topic for today. No? So, ang topic natin last week is get what's yours. Alright? Gusto mong kunin yung mga blessing. Gusto mong kunin yung freedom. Gusto mong kunin yung uh, anointing ng Panginoon. Gusto mong kunin yung um, healing. Right? Forgiveness. Acceptance. The Jesus Christ already paid everything on the cross 2,000 years ago about all those things. Right? So today, ang subtopic natin last week was, ang tatandaan nyo ba? Ang subtopic natin last week? How to become successful God's way. Today, we're gonna be discussing the meaning of success God's way. Or the meaning of success, God's definition of success. Right? So marami kasi definition yung success. Okay? Meron akong tinanong, uh, isang tao na in-evangelize ko last 2010, I think. Tinanong ko, tinanong niya ako, natinat niya ako one time, sabi niya, what do you want in life? Sabi ko, I want to be successful. And he asked me, how do you find success? And it stunned me. No? Nastun ako dun kasi sabi ko, o nga naman. Here's a guy, I know he's a smart and here I am talking to him and I need to be smart as well. So, kailangan ko rin maging matalino. <laughs> kasi matalino siya eh. No? Achiever siya sa school. Hindi ko siya naging klase ever. Stranger, no? Pero yun nga, no? And, and, and apparently, from that time on, no, uh, the, my, the meaning of success for me is not just money, it's not just ministry. Yung meaning ng success, it, it, it changes over time. It changes over time, no? Um, one of the most iconic definition of success that is my favorite right now is Gary V. Do you know Gary V? Hindi si Gary Valenciano, ha? Si Gary Vaynerchuk. Si Gary Vaynerchuk is a businessman in US, a major investor in Uber, ano pa ba? Uber, Meta, etc. I think right now, NFT investor siya and uh, ayun ko, nag-invest siya sa trends. So, yes, tech investor, Uber investor. So, sikat siya, no? Bins man siya, naging speaker sa isang convention namin sa US. Ang, ang, ang sabi niya is, success is not having a billion dollar, not having many, no? Um, cars or mansions. Success is when you wake up in the morning and you feel happy. Profound, di ba? Napakaganda ng meaning. O nga naman. Di ba? There are people who have millions, millions of, of peso, sabi natin, Pilipinas tayo eh. Millions of peso or dollars or billion of dollars or peso. Pero malungkot, stressed out, frustrated. Di ba? And uh, hindi alam yung meaning kung ano yung gagawin sa buhay. Hindi alam yung purpose. Akala lang niya yung purpose ng buhay niya is business, 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 work, work, work. Right? So, ito yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Kasi mayayaman yung mga yun eh. Gary Vaynerchuk is a very rich guy. 
right? And marami tayong kilalang mayaman na hindi rin naman ganun talaga kasaya, no? And um, I also, I also uh, want to quote kung yung pinanood sa akin ni Jayan na na movie, no? Kailan to? It was like, I think Friday, no? Hunger yung pangalan sa Netflix. Yung chef. Ano parang yan na ba yung hunger? And sabi niya, the most who wins is the one who hunger the most. Kung sino tayo laging panalo, siya yung laging nagugutom. Which is, in me, no? Pag na mo lahat ng mga laban, lahat ng mga laban ng mga tournaments, lahat ng mga laban ng boxing, etc. Sports. Ang nananalo, hindi magaling. Yung talagang gustong-gustong manalo, hindi gusto mo suko. Yun yung nananalo. No? Ay, meron din naman, like, like champions na undefeated, na talagang hindi pa naglalaban, alam mo siya na yung panalo. Eh. Kasi dun sa... Dun sa posture niya, paano siya tumingin, paano siya, paano niya, paano siya mag-act, no? And then of course, si, uh, I believe, no, kasi na, na, nasa Bible, na, ang sabi doon ni, ni, ni Solomon, ang sabi niya is hindi natatapos yung, yung labor ng man. Kapag nakuha mo isang bagay, gusto mong paulit. Pag nakuha mo pa isang bagay, gusto mong paulit. Parang walang tigil. Di ba walang katigil-tigil yung gusto natin. Kapag nakabili ka ng sakyan, dati, Lord, gusto gusto ko ng kotse, nagka-kotse ka, parang gusto ko ng Lamborghini, parang ano, nag-upgrade, di ba? Yun nga eh, yung, yung, yung sa Facebook, no? Meron naka-wheelchair, may kapansanan, buti pa siya kaya mag, mag-jogging. Buti pa siya kaya mag-bike, yung nag-jogging naman, sana may bike ako. Yung may bike naman, sana may kotse ako. Yung may kotse naman, sana may sports car ako. May sports car naman, sana may helicopter ako, mas mabilis. Yung helicopter naman, sana may private jet ako. So, bilis. Yung may private jet naman, sana may super yacht ako. Yung super yacht naman, sana may happiness ako. Matulad nung nasa wheelchair. <laughs> so, napansin niyo walang katapusan eh. No? Walang katapusan. So, may kukwento ko sa, sa inyo at the end of this, um, ano, no? So, so, let's try to uh, dig in right now. This is, maybe this is one of the most important important topic sa I've ever discussed, no? The meaning of success God's way. Kasi tayo, ligaw tayo sa success, eh. Even I, no? At hindi lang at one point, in multiple points so in my life, hindi ko alam ko ano yung meaning talaga ng success up until God has revealed it to me. Okay? How do you define success? Sige nga. How do you define? Pag masaya ba ako, successful ako? Pag mayaman ba ako, successful ako? Pag marami ba akong disciple, successful ako. Of course, that is, a, that is success. Right? Pero is that it? No? How will you know when you achieve it? That's the second question. Number one, how you define success? Number two, the second question, how you will know when you achieve it? Yung sinasabi nga ni Solomon, eh, umaman ako, gusto ko pa. Walang katapusan. <laughs> Di ba sabi nga sa hunger? Yung mga tao, hungry, walang katapusan. Yung kasi yung appetite natin eh. May appetite tayo sa pagkain. Alam mo yung kakakatakain mo lang tanghalian, gusto mo na magmerienda. Kakakain mo lang ng, mag- ng merienda, gusto mo na maggabihan. ba diba? Sino dito kumain ka ng alimit, alimit di Korean barbecue, kaya mo pang mag-ramen, tapos kaya mo pang mag-Starbucks pagkatapos. Tayong lahat. <laughs> kasi may hunger ka eh. Ang problema ko, yung hunger mo, napunta lang sa pagkain. Yung hunger mo, kailangan mo i-channel. Mapunta siya dun sa career mo, mapunta siya dun sa business mo, mapunta siya dun sa family mo. Do you hunger for your family? No? What do you hunger for your family? A good life. But do you hunger for more than a good life? Do you hunger for your family about about their salvation, about their eternal destination? Right? How would you know when you achieve it? Okay? Let's discuss a, a, a story in the Bible in Matthew chapter 19, starting in verse 16. Okay, Matthew 19, starting in verse 16. It's actually uh, Matthew 19, 16 to 30. Okay, babasahin ko muna. No? Verse 16 of Matthew chapter 19. So, ang passage na to is the, the rich and the kingdom of God. The rich and the kingdom of God. Yun yung passage. No? Okay, Matthew 19, verse 16. Verse 16. Just then, a man came up to Jesus ask, and asked, Teacher, what good thing must I do to get eternal life? 
Very good question. Right? Verse 17, Why do you ask me about what is good? Jesus replied, There is only one who is good. If you want to, to, to enter life, keep the commandments. So Jesus was referring to uh, the Ten Commandments here. In Deuteronomy chapter 5, right? Verse 18, which ones, he inquired, Jesus replied, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony. Verse 19, Honor your father and mother and love your neighbor as yourself. Verse 20, All this I have kept. The young man said, What do I still lack? Apparently, this guy, naramdaman niya, no? Meron siyang kulak. <laughs> right? Verse 21, Oops, verse 21, yes. Jesus answered, If you want to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. Verse 22, When the young man heard this, he went away sad because he had great wealth. That's the problem. That's the problem, no? Verse 23, then Jesus said to his disciples, Truly I tell you, it's hard for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Verse 24, Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Verse 25, When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and asked, Who then can be saved? Sino ba si saved, Lord? Yung camel, hindi yun kasha dun sa ano, imposible Diba? You know what? It is impossible for us to enter heaven without Jesus Christ. Without the shedding of the blood, there will be no forgiveness of sin. There will be no salvation. No? Verse 26, Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Can you have your amen? Verse 26, Peter answered, We have left everything to follow you. What then will there be for us? So si Peter, nanin, maganda na yung question ni Peter dito. No? Oo nga naman, di ba? Right? Verse 28 to uh, 30 na to. Verse 28, Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man sits on His glorious throne, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones. Sana, kasama ko din ako sa twelve, eh, no? Judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Verse 29, and everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife, iwan daw yung mga to, biro lang, no? Or children or fields, for my sake, will receive a hundred times as much and will inherit eternal life. Gusto mo lang isang daang wife, iwan mo daw yung wife mo ngayon, na biro lang po, no? That's not true. That's not true, Okay? Verse 30, but many who are first will be last and many who are last will be first. Blessed be the reading of the word of the Lord. So ano nangyayari dito? There is a rich guy, a rich young guy, ang sabi niya sa Panginoon, na may tinatawang siya kay Lord eh. Kaya sabi niya, Lord, ano kailangan kong gawin para makuha eternal life? He was rich, very rich, rich young and wild. Di ba? Bata pa. No, pag bata ka, mayamang ka. Grabe yun. Kasi pag may, may edad ka na, mayamang ka. Okay lang yun. Pero pag bata ka, mayamang ka. Right? Iba yun eh. Teenager or 20s having Lamborghinis, no? McLaren, Ferrari, Pagani. Ano yung mga ganyan? Eh, yun yun eh. May camel siya eh. No? Number one, the rich man identifies, number one, he knows he is not yet successful. The rich man identifies, number one, he knows he is not yet successful. And the Bible declared that he is rich. Alam nyo ba na ang Bible is truth? Because it is the word of God. And, and, and then according to the word of God, this guy is rich. How many of you want to be rich? <laughs> Some of you are cannot be rich, right? You don't answer the phone. He knows he is not yet successful, even having all those money, even having all those properties, even having all those luxuries. No? 
just like Moses, prince of Egypt, how can he leave the pyramid having all the vacations that, di ba gusto natin, bakasyon? Ah, oh, sana, no, hotel overnight. Si Moses, Egypt yung bakasyon niya. No? Unlimited girls, unlimited food, unlimited Wi-Fi. <laughs> I have a question for you. This man is a rich man, pero hindi niya kinoconsider na successful siya. Alam niya may kulang siya. Why is that? Number two, the rich man identifies. He knows to ask the right person. Alam niya. Bakit si Jesus yung tinanong niya? Kasi nakikinig siya eh. Uma, alam mo tong rich man na to, umaaten to ng game night, umaaten to ng Bible study, umaaten to ng Sunday service. Yun ang ibig sabihin nun. A -a ang tao na to, naniniwala siya kay Jesus, ang tao na to, nakikinig siya. Kasi bakit siya kilala si Jesus? No, apparently, in, in, in Matthew chapter 19, Jesus already did some miracles, some preaching, some sharings, all throughout Israel. Itong man na to, naririnig niya na si Jesus. And then naisip niya, Oo nga, oo nga, no? Oo nga. Oo nga, no? Tinatamaan din siya sa preaching, eh. Siguro nung una, binabaliwala pa yan. Hindi. Baka feeling ko lang yun. Hindi, baka pinaparinggan lang niya ako. Hindi, baka... Pero nung kakapakinig niya, kakapakinig, dumating siguro sa point na tanungin ko na nga lang itong taong to. Ba't ba ganun yung sinasabi niya? Teacher, ano ba talaga meaning ng inyo? Paano ko makuha eternal life? Alam niyo ba, for me, in the Bible, ito yung pinaka-importanting tanong na dapat itanong ng isang tao nung time na yan. Kasi Jesus preached ng preach. Paparating na yung kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and change your, your ways. Repent and change. Oh, bakit? Para saan? Hindi ba't pwede mag-enjoy? O tapos, may impera doon, mayroong ha, langit. O, paano doon sa langit? Gusto ko doon. Lahat naman tayo eh. No? Nobody wants to go to hell. Nobody wants to go to hell. If we have the knowledge of hell, really the knowledge of hell, those people who are saying that okay lang punta ako sa hell doesn't have the knowledge of the hell. Pero kung alam natin, nobody wants to go there. Even your your even your darkest, wildest, most hated enemy, you don't want to go there. No? Pero kilala niya si Jesus, he knows to ask the right person. Number three, the rich man ident identifies, he knows he lacks something. Diba? Sabi niya, Lord, ginagawa ko naman to lahat eh. Sinusunod ko naman lahat ng Ten Commandments eh. What do I still lack? He knows. He knows. Na, ang alam na itong man na to, alam ng rich man, na ang pagiging mabait, hindkulang. Akala natin ganito, no? Kapag mabait na naman ako, punta ko langit. For those people who are watching YouTube, take note of this. Not by works, but by faith. We are saved by faith, not by works. Not by works, but by faith. When we have faith, our works proves it. The faith <laughs> that we profess. Not by works, but by faith, but faith with works. Can you get it? Or you don't get it? Hindi sa mabuting gawa, pero sa pananampalataya na may gawang mabuti dahil doon sa pananampalatayang meron. Okay? Kasi tinanong niya, Lord, ginagawa ko naman lahat yun, ha? Anong kulang ko? Bakit, but, but, why do I feel I'm going to hell? Di ba tayo pagtingin tayo, sa pupunta, heaven or hell, pag namatay ka, tingin mo. Di ba? Naisad ka. Kasi may nagawa ka kanina, may nagawa ka hapon, may nagmura ka hapon, isang araw, meron kang inaway, nandaya ka, Parang hell. Pero siguro heaven naman ako. Gina ganun na lang yung sasagot mo. Pero deep inside in your heart. Like this rich man. You know you lack something. Right? Jesus' definition of success. Are you ready? 
Ang sinabi ni Lord. Number one, give to the poor. Sino yung poor? Yung ba yung mahirap na namamalimos? Yung ibang mahirap na namamalimos, abang minimum yun. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No, uh, I mean, I don't judge them. I give everyone na mer- nakakatok sa kot, sa sasakyan, lahat ng nakita ko talaga, I, as much as possible, I give. I don't miss. I only miss kapag wala talagang pera dun sa lalagyan or sa bulsa or ano. Alam namang, bro, may gcash ka. Di ba? Gcash na kita. I only miss kapag ganun. Pero as much as possible because hindi naman nila kailang, ito yung principle ko eh, no? ba't niyong bibigay ng mga walimos? Hindi naman niya kailangan ng malaking pera. Mahingi ba siya sa'yo ng salibo? Hindi naman eh. Bigyan mo nga ng 20 yun, masaya na. Di ba? Bigyan mo na 100 yun. Sobrang saya niya na. Eh, liman na pala niya kay bandred lahat. Minimum na. Pwede na matulog. Eh, maghapon. Di ba? Talo niya yung graduate. Hindi, <laughs> I mean, I'm just kidding, no? Pero, alam niyo yun. Totoo yun, eh. Pero, you know what? Give to the poor. Sino sasabing poor dito? Yun lang ba mahirap? Hindi. Ang sinasabing poor dito, yun ang kailangan ng tulong mo. Sino may kailangan ng tulong mo? What do you think? Yung family mo na hindi pa save. Poor in spirit. Sino mga poor dyan? Nangihingi ng tulong mo. Alam nyo, napag-isip-isip ko din na hindi lahat ng, ma- ng poor or nangangailangan ay kailangan ka pang tanungin para malaman mo nangangailangan siya ng tulong. Because God has given us a shepherd's heart. Kaya nga, yung disciple, nung wala pa sa kanila yung whole spirit, because God has given us the whole spirit. And Jesus saw the crowd with compassion. Naawa siya. Pero yung 12, Lord, pauwi mo na yan. <laughs> o pakainin natin yan eh. 5,000 dami. Si Lord, naawa. Kasi si Lord, ganun yung heart niya. Tayo ba? Ganun yung heart natin. Let's give to the poor. No, yung namamalimus, bigyan mo, limang piso, sampung piso. Tapos yung mga nangailangan na, ng salvation, hindi naman nila itatanong eh. Sa iyo eh. Bro, kailangan ko ng salvation. Evangelist mo naman ako. One verse mo naman. Hindi niya may itatanong yun. No? Sis, nangihina ako sa faith. I-invite mo ako sa Sunday service. Kulitin mo nga ako. Gisingin mo ako. Tawagan mo nga ako. Nangihina kasi ako eh. Hindi naman sila ganun eh. Pero you know, they need help because God has given you the whole spirit and you discern them. Right? Yes or yes. That's it. Give to the poor. Number two, follow Jesus. This guy, hindi niya feel na successful siya kasi wala sa kanya si Jesus. ba? Diba? <laughs> Salvation comes when? When what? When you, when you confess and, and repent to your sins and accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Eh, hindi niya pa niya na-accept si Jesus. Eh, hindi pa siya kompleto. Kahit na sobrang bait, kuya, yes. Sino pa rito kayang isundin yung Ten Commandments? Wala. Itong guy na to, sinusunod niya. Mas mabait siya sa atin. Pero hindi siya saved. We are saved. Why? Saved by grace. Not by works. If you have Jesus in your life, you are more than a rich guy. A rich guy only have money. You know what? A rich guy without Jesus is an ordinary man with a lot of money. He is poor. But a guy with Jesus has everything. Again, ulitin ko sa inyo ha. A rich guy without Jesus is, is a poor man with money. Follow Jesus. Why is that? Ramdam na ramdam niya na mabait naman siya, pero hindi siya successful, kulang. Parang hindi siya same. Amen? True treasure is not here on earth. True treasure is in heaven. Kaya ang sabi ng Lord sa kanya, share, no, ibenta mo lahat ng possession mo. Alam nyo, that is the biggest offer in the world that he missed. 
Iwan mo na lahat yan. Akin ka na lang. Si Jesus. Siya pa talaga tinanggihan mo. Sana tumanggi ka na lang sa malaking offer sa salary sa mga interviews mo eh. Sa mga dealings mo sa ano eh, sa business. Sana yun na lang yun na miss mo eh. Sana hindi ka na naging rich. Alam mo, sana hindi ka na lang naging mabait. Sana tinanggap mo na lang si Lord. At iniwan mong lahat. Sa atin, kama lang di maiwan eh. Nakadikit sa kama, nakadikit sa unan. Hindi makabangon. Grabe. 9.30. Hindi naman. Night shift. Right? Tanong mo si Bernard. Tanong mo si Lian kung ano yung nagagawa ito. No? Napainom tuloy si Bernard. <laughs> Amen. Nakadikit sa bahay. Hindi naman nalis yung bahay. Binabantayan daw yung bahay. Alam niyo, pag, I want to prepare you no? as a leader in the faith. Ang gusto kong ma-prepare kayo, kapag humarap na kayo kay Lord, na hindi niyo itaad dahilan, Lord, di ko kayang gumising. Lord, marumi yung bahay. Lord, binabantayin ko kasi yung bahay. Lord, yung tanay ko kasi hindi ako pinayana. Lord, wala kasi yung pera. Yun ba itaad dahilan mo kay Lord? Really? Kaya ko sabihin sa'yo ni Lord, sabihin mo, ako nga Lord, nadapa eh. Sabihin ni Lord, ako nga pinako sa kurs eh. Ako nga bumaba eh. Ako nga nadumihan, nasugatan, namatay. Ikaw, may crush ka lang. Hindi mo lang madala dito. Hindi ka lang natanggap sa trabaho, nagmukbuk ka na. Parang hindi ka na-blessed. True treasure is in heaven, not here. Masama bang bumili ng magandang gamit? Hindi, bumibili rin naman tayo ng magandang gamit kasi para kay Lord to eh. Diba, bumibili tayo ng magandang Bible. No, ayoko ng mga Bible na ordinary lang. Gusto ko sobrang ganda kasi para kay Lord to eh. Amen? Bakit pag nag-encounter tayo mahal? Lugi pa nga yung... Lugi pa nga si Conquest, sa totoo lang. Kasi pero si Conquest yung pandagdag doon sa... Alam niyo kung magkano yung mga ngama ngayon, kapatid? Kasi gusto natin i-prepare kasi para maganda, para, para pumunta ka, at para nandun pala si God, magulat ka. Hindi pala yung ganda ng place, ang habol doon, si Lord. O para mag-encounter tayo sa labas, mainit, sige nga. Anyways, yung treasure nandun sa heaven, wala dito. Kaya nga sinasabi ng Lord, may, may, may mali sa'yo eh. Kapatid, may mali sa'yo. Business ka ng business, trabaho ko ng trabaho, wala ka ng oras sa akin, nakala mo yan yung ano, magsisisi ka isang araw. Hindi yan yan eh. Hindi yan yan. Ibenta mo yan lahat, ipamigay mo sa poor, sama ka na sa akin, be my desire. Ang grabe, no? Mali siya eh. Hindi yan natanggap. So this is the purpose of Kwanko's ministry as we end, no? Matthew chapter 22, 30. Actually, this, it's 37, 13, and 39. Yung ating, uh, what's our mission? No? Matthew chapter 22, verse 34. Hearing that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, the Pharisees got, got together. Nag-usap-usap sila. No? Verse 35. One of them, an expert in the law, tested him with this question. Verse 36. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Ito naman. Ito naman, aral. Aral sa law. Ano to? Graduate ng school of leaders. <laughs> Di ba? Yung kanina, hindi nag sol Pero, sinusunod yung 1 to 10. No? Ito naman, gusto niya shortcut. Binigyan sila ng Lord ng shortcut. Nung 10 commandments. Verse 37, sabi nung lang ni Lord, ni Jesus, Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Verse 38, This is the first and the greatest commandment. Verse 39, and the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. Verse 40, all the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Ito lang yung summary ng Ten Commandments. Eh. Love God, love His people. Para saan ba si Con? Kasi ano ba yung mission natin? Di ba love God, love His people? Right? Because if you love God, 
will you exchange God with work? With puyat, with comfort? Will you exchange, exchange Him? Paano pag hindi? Ito ah, to give you a, a fair a fair situation. Paano pag kayong mga classmate mo hindi na umatid ng, ng Bible studies? Just like I did. Dati nung umatid kami ng Bible study, isang buong section. Dumating sa point ako na lang tira sa isang buong section na yun. Marami sa amin umatid ng Bible study, marami sa amin umatid ng Sunday service, marami sa amin nag-pre-encounter, nag, nag kukunti sa amin nag-encounter. Mas kukunti sa amin yung wala na eh. Ako na lang, School of Teachers 1, Post Encounter, School of Teachers 1, 2, and 3, School of Teachers. Walang bumuo ng 12. Walang nag-goal na lumaki yung ministry niyo. Ako na lang ang talaga natira. What if, what if, lahat ng classmate mo, lahat ng kasama mo sa Bible study, hindi na umatin, hindi na pupunta. What if si Kuya Joey, even Kuya Joey, hindi na rin nag-lead? Kunwari ako, ayoko na rin. Kunwari lang naman eh. What will you do? Pwede yung bang sabihin kay Lord, Lord, kasi si Kay Joe, hindi na ako pinalap, hindi na ako nilid. Eh, 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 Lord, yung kasi yung mga classmate ko, wala na po akong kasama, hindi na po sila umahatin. Will that, will God accept that? Do not take, do not take it lightly. Kasi at the end of the day, it's not light. It is heavy. Many are called, but few were chosen. Kinol tayo ng Lord eh. Ako rin naman, may calling. May calling ka rin, right? But are you chosen? Are you chosen? Pag, pag, na, pag ikaw na consider mo yung sarilong parang rich guy, hindi ka chosen, kailangan piliin, Lord, kailangan piliin mo. Saan ako pupunta, Lord? Mahal kita eh. Right? As we end, no? True success is what? Eternal life. How to be successful? Love. Who is love? Jesus Christ. How to have Him? Confess our sins. Repent our sins. Accept Him as Lord and Savior. You know what? Why do the rich guy feel he is not successful, he is incomplete, and he lacks? everything. Ano pang may, ano pang kunwari tayo siya? Kunwari ikaw siya? Ano pang may ask mo? Sobrang yaman mo at sobrang bait. <laughs> Sino dito sinusunod niya yung Ten Commandments? Wala. <laughs> Ako lang? Biro lang po, no? Biro lang, no? Sino dito kaya niyang sunod yung Ten Commandments? Tasa kamay. Sino dito napakayaman nasa kami yun no amen di ba right how isipin nyo to before we end ha? before we end before we pray sobrang yaman sobrang bait si Jesus in 10 commandments pero feeling niya punta siya sa hell because Jesus is not in his heart as we close pauwi ako no Pauwi ako, galing ako bumili ng gamot sa Mercury Drug. And some drinks. Yung paborito kong tawag doon. Mga Powerade. Uh, yeah, umuwi ako, sabi ko, I just realized, because I lost my dad mga three weeks ago, pag namatay yung tatay ko. And then, uh, nabangga ako saan, sa likod ng kotse, pero konti lang damage. And he's like, what if I lose everything? What if I lose everything? My work, all of this, lahat, la, yung position ko sa work, lahat ng pepagunong ko sa career, mawala. Lahat ng ministry ko, mawala yung conquest. Yung family members ko, paano yung nanay ko, mawala rin siya kasi matanda na rin. Paano may mawala sa family members ko? Sa anak ko, sa asawa ko, or... Paano pong mawala lahat? Katulad kay Job. You know what came to my mind? There is one thing that I cannot afford to lose and that is the Holy Spirit of God in me. That's it. 
I can lose everything because I can rebuild them. But how can you rebuild Holy Spirit in your heart? If you grieve Him, and then your heart becomes callous, who can bring the Holy Spirit back for you? Kapag tumigas na yung puso mo and you're not reading your Bible, you are not attending Bible studies, you are taking it lightly, you are so soft, you're always late, you, you don't you don't have excitement, you don't have appetite to share the Word of God, who can bring that back to you? The person who, can, who could help you is the one with the Holy Spirit. The one who's calling you, who's following you up, who's inviting you very, very frequently for you to attend, for not to give up. Because I know and we know that true success is not of this world. True treasure is not of this world. In this world, we are all passerby. Mamatay lang tayo lahat. Amen? Let's pray together. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful topic to be successful, Lord God. In our life, Panginoon, we have been chasing success. Just like chasing the wind, as Solomon said in the Word of God. We are chasing promotion after promotion, business expansion after customers. That's not bad, Lord God. Pero kung yun lang gagawin namin, Panginoon, we feel incomplete, surely. Mabait lang kami, Panginoon, not enough. Not enough. Perhaps, Lord God, di naman nung di naman lahat ng Ten Commandments na nasusunod namin, Panginoon. We break the law. But Lord, you said in your word, buti na lang, Panginoon. Buti na lang, hindi by works, but by grace. Because if it, if it by works, we will not win. But because if it's for great, but because if it's by grace, we win because of you. Lord, maraming maraming salamat. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, you said in your word, without shedding of the blood, there will be no forgiveness of sin. Thank you, Lord God, for shedding your blood, that our sins are forgiven, that you are our Savior, you are our Lord. Lord, we confess all the sins that we have committed right now in Jesus' name. Lord, forgive us. We ask for forgiveness. We humble ourselves before you. And Lord, we ask, Lord God, that you give us the courage to repent, the courage, Lord God, to change our ways, not to take your, your events, your word lightly, but to take it seriously. Even every one of us, Lord God, make us serious. That conquest is serious. That this ministry is serious. That bringing people, inviting people is serious. And you said in your word, Lord God, what will you exchange if you gain the whole world and you lost your soul? Our soul is priceless. The cost of our soul is the blood of the God of the universe. Lord, we thank you so much for saving us. We thank you so much for forgiving us. We thank you so much, Lord God, that we know the definition of success is not of this world. It's eternal life. And it can only be gained through love of our Lord Jesus Christ. And by the help of the Holy Spirit, we can love people, we can love God, whatever it takes, <laughs> until the end of our lives. We love you and we praise you. All the honor and glory forever to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Alright.